for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I greatly appreciate it. First, I want to thank you, Mr. Powell, for your focus on unnecessary and duplicative regulations that are needlessly slowing down and in some cases preventing energy efficiency and pollution control projects that could be put putting energy workers back to work and in particular for the support of my new source review legislation that would streamline the NSR permitting process, making it easier to update and retrofit existing facilities to make them cleaner and more efficient. I urge the committee to act on this legislation. It would result in projects that are beneficial both to our environment and it would create more jobs. Mr. Powell, your testimony underscores that China is still moving forward on new coal investments and emissions in China and India are expected to grow in the future. Unlike coal plants and industry in the US and in many Western countries, Chinese industry seems unencumbered by regulatory restrictions. How can the US facilitate the adoption of new clean coal and carbon capture technologies around the world? Thank you very much for that question, Representative. Thank you very much for that question, Representative, and, and thank you again for your leadership on, on New Source Review. I think it's so important that we don't let the letter of the law interfere with the spirit of the law, and we don't let the existing regulations stand in the way of uh, upgrades and important efficiency and carbon capture improvements to these facilities that would reduce emissions overall. So very, very important to, uh, to address and, and, and reform there. Um, there are a number of things that we need to do to uh, radically reduce the cost and improve the performance of carbon capture technologies. It starts with things like the regulatory reform uh, that, that you mentioned and have championed so that there's indeed permission to make those kinds of investments on the plants. Uh, we then need uh, significant additional demonstrations of the technologies. So while we have at this point one uh, very large and successful operating coal plant demonstration uh, in this country in Representative Olson's district, the Petronova project, which was completed on time and on budget and has now sequestered literally millions of tons of CO2 into uh, an older uh, tertiary oil field. We need more demonstrations of these technologies in order to bring down the cost. Secretary Mone's earlier mentioned the importance of these pre-feed studies and these feed studies, that's the front end engineering and design, which helps an innovator and a project developer determine if there's a there there on the project, if it's technically and economically sound under any circumstances. And we've just funded a generation of those at the Department of Energy, nine in total, uh, on six new coal and three new gas projects. But that's just the beginning of the journey for those projects. So they're going to need further support in public-private partnership from the Department of Energy to get those projects up and built. And then once we have more demonstrations, once we know that it works and we've brought that down to the level where a direct cost share is no longer as important, but where incentives could take over instead, that's where I think the very wise 45Q tax incentive that y'all enacted in 2018 uh, stands to come in and, and, and shoulder a lot of the heavy load. And so let those projects and industries learn by doing and start to expand. And I was very heartened to see as sort of the, in, in the first leg of Leader McCarthy's climate package, on carbon management that, that, that a proposal for a permanent 45Q tax incentive uh, for uh, uh, at the same level for existing coal and gas facilities and actually even at a higher level for direct air capture facilities was, was an idea put on the table. And I think it ought to be an idea that's in strong consideration. And, and I appreciate that. Let me switch to Secretary Moniz. Secretary Moniz, you know, I appreciate uh, your concern for what's happening in central Appalachia and my district includes uh, part of that in the what's happening to the workers there. And you've always been so good to try to look out both for the future, but also to be looking out for cleaner, cleaner energy. Um, do you agree with the sentiments that China and India and other developing countries will not abandon fossil fuels as they seek to rebuild their economies post COVID? And would you agree that we should not give up on clean coal innovation? And likewise, that we should not cede our technological edge on fossil research to other nations? Well, I think this, uh, your question, uh, and by the way, it's been a pleasure, it was a pleasure working with you as well uh, and your district. Uh, the, um, uh, I, th oops. I think you've already uh, uh, raised the, the key issue, uh, which is that we need to get, we need to get CCS. And I think Rich Powell really said it. And I've said it, I said it earlier in a different way. We yes, need sir. to build this as an industry, not just as a set of projects, but we need to have the mindset that this is a new industry with a major new infrastructure 
Once we do that, we will <laughs> set the stage for the global introduction of CCS uh, uh, because that's what we need. Uh, and, and, and Mr. Secretary, if I might, uh, I'm just going to point yeah. this out. Uh, it's a new technology, MOVA Technologies panel fed filtration system technology is going to the next step. It's gotten through the first phase. And uh, I think that's got some real potential too. I just point that out to you. My time is up, so I'm going to have to okay. yield back. But I don't know that technology, it. but we can look at it. Yeah. Yes, sir. I know you will. Thank you so much. Thank the gentleman's you. time is up. The chair now recognizes the gentleman.